This is the electrically rewound winding system for the International Time Recording Company's time clock, which ever, later became IBM. Uh, what you have is you have an electric motor up here on top that has a drive shaft there in the middle, that uh, kind of brown colored tube that comes down to a differential there. And you can see the switch right above is what turns the motor off and on. And there's a cam right behind the drive train there that every revolution of the drum of the drivetrain moves the cam up one tooth until it switches the switch off or as it unwinds switches the switch on. And then as it winds you can see there are two weights. Right now it's way past where it would normally wind at. The weights come up and enter, you can go through the pulleys. You see one pulley on the left there and one pulley on the right, and then of course they feed down into the drum, either, either direction. I'm going to activate the system now. Actually the weights would start winding about uh, halfway normally, but I've let them run down just to give you a longer shot and show you what the cam looks like as it's winding. There's the cam moving. One step, one revolution. I'm going another notch. The weights are about halfway now. There it was. And there you have the winding system of the International Time Recording Company. The weights are up clock is wound. As it unwinds again the switch will trip and the weights will come back up again.